Hello, my name is Kathy, and I'm from the Early Years Alliance. And welcome to my activity today on printing. So printing is simple but effective, and there are endless opportunities for printing with almost anything uh, that's safe to use for children. Children love to get stuck into paint and put their hands in so they can see how the paint feels uh, because it's a sensory experience for them. And the benefits of printing for children is the development of bilateral coordination and fine motor skills. So bilateral coordination is a term given to the ability to coordinate both sides of the body at the same time in a controlled and organized manner. So for example, we can be stabilizing things with one hand and painting or cutting with our other hand. So it's being able to use both sides. Uh, and we can give them lots of opportunities for this uh, by giving them different tools like paintbrushes and holding different objects. Also, printing lets children be creative and use their imagination. And they develop, they develop problem solving. How does it work? What colours shall I use? And it gives children the freedom of decision making of what they want to do. And it's really good for their self-esteem because you just can't make a mistake doing this activity. It also helps um, self-regulate their emotions because, it's, it, because some things are difficult and they learn persistence and patience. And it's also good for maths because they will be learning about colours and shapes and sizes and pattern making and design. So today I'm going to demonstrate some printing with paint. Um, there are some ready-made prints available out there that you can buy, but there's plenty of everyday ob objects that work just as well. So you can go and have a little treasure hunt around the house and see what you can find to do some printing with. You can print using lots of natural materials, but we're going to be staying indoors today. So you want a nice uh, plastic mat and maybe aprons because we are using paint and this is washable paint. Um, so yeah, and afterwards you might want to have a bottle of water ready so that you know, children can wash their hands afterwards. So we're going to give you some examples of what to do with, with printing. So first of all, as I said, I will show you some ready-made ones that, uh, that you can buy. Okay, and they are lovely to use, but you do not have to go out and buy anything at all because there's also an abundance of things around the house that we can use too. Firstly, we need to put some paint in a container. So I'm going to use some green paint to start with. And I have got, and we can print on it all sorts of things. So I'm, I've got this paper plate. So I'm going to do some printing on that. Remember, it's really good for children's fine motor skills and hand and eye coordination. The first thing I've got to print with is some bubble wrap, but I have put round an empty container. Just wrapped it round that. And I'm going to roll it in the paint and see what marks we can make with that. Here goes to the green paint. And it's good for their speech and language as well, because we can talk about what we're doing. Here we go. I'm going to roll it around on my plate and see what lovely marks printed on there. So there we go. Here's another example of some printing. And we can use some other objects as well. So I have got an old sellotape container there and I'm going to put that as well in the paint. I can use this to roll around plate like that. Using it, yeah, it's really 
good with my motor skills and the bilateral coordination because I'm moving my plate around as I'm printing with that. So there's some more printing that we've done. So that's an idea that we can use on a plate. So I thought what would be nice is I've got an envelope here. Oh, I could print on an envelope. We could print on all sorts of different things. So I thought I can do some printing on this envelope. I'm going to do some red paint this time. Put the lids on. I'll enjoy pouring that paint out. So I'm going to put the lids back on. And I have got some cutters here, some baking cutters. Or I use them with Play Doh as well. But we can use them for printing too. So this is a heart shape, and I'm going to put, put it in the paint. There it is in my paint container. And you can see lots of marks in the painting container. I'm going to do a heart shape on my envelope. It is. And I think I'm going to add one of my ready made stampers here. I'm just going to put a little happy birthday message on there, like that. Pressing it down. And speak to their literacy skills. On there. But as I said, you don't need to go out and buy any of this. So that's my envelope ready. And so I think what I need to do is to make a birthday card or some sort of card to go inside my envelope. So I've got some card here and I folded it in half, ready to make my card. And this time, I think I'm going to use a little card. I've got a few little cards that I've found. And we can dip the wheels in the paint and then roll it over the paper. And they're going to really enjoy putting the card in the paint and rubbing it around, covering the wheels in the paint. And then I'm going to roll it on my paper and roll it up and down. And you can see how it's made those tracks on the card. And then what I think it needs is some little bits there to make it look like a flower. So it's a bunch of flowers. So I think I'm going to use some pink paint now. There's some lots of different colours today. And what I love mostly for printing is this empty cotton reel. It's so simple and so effective. I'm going to dip that in my pink. Put it in there, a little bit red in as well. And then I'm going to stamp, 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 stamp all over that piece of paper. Here we go. Put my paint on there. Stamp it. All my pink. All over. Another one. And I think that looks like a lovely bunch of flowers to go in my envelope. And to wish somebody a happy birthday. That's my card there. And then I've also found this little bag as well. The children love to find little bags and they're so useful as well for them. You can put all their little treasures in that bag and to be able to print on it and make it their own is going to be really fun. So I found. This bit of Lego. So I'm going to dip that in. I'm going to use another colour. Lots of different colours. It's like a brown metallic 
color. So it's paint, it's rather washable. Rather than sort of dip that in there, cover it all over. And I'm going to print it on my bag. And this is really good. It looks very spotty. And I think I'm going to put some circles on, on it as well. So this day is a bit um, like a building brick. So it's just a wooden circle there. So I'm going to use that. I think I've got some red. Dip it in. Here we go. Red one, two, three, four. That is looking like a really good design on my little bag as well. Put that there. And then we can do is we can make some wrapping paper. We can print that too. We can wrap some parcels. I've got some brown paper here. We could get rolls of it in by the post office, rolls of posting, packaging, and a few from here. So I think this time I have got some star shapes, stars here. I've got some paint already, so I'm just going to mix up the different colours that I've got left in here. Some reds and pinks together, and I'm going to print on my wrapping paper. It's all over. Got some stars, it's pink, red, stamping away there. And I think I'm going to add my cotton reel to it. There we go. And I'm going to also add some green, I think. Use wooden stamp there, stamp it, right, stamp it all over, they can do any random, have to be in any order or pattern, really fun to do, and I think that looks really good, some wrapping paper there, very simple. And then I have got a piece of material because remember you can use anything for painting and printing. Cards, bag, paper, and here we go, we've got a piece of material. So I think for this I found a little cake fork in my cupboard and I thought I wonder what marks that makes. So I'm going to dip it. The paint again. I'm going to press it down, and it makes a really interesting little pattern there that you can see. So I'm going to carry on with some more paint, and put some more pink in this time. Always mix your colours together. I've got lots of colours. And this is nice to hold as well, it's really beautiful when you find a just way to hold that. Okay, press it down, press it down, press it down. That's it. And to really keep them occupied, it's good for their concentration as well. Looking at how they can make all sorts of different patterns and designs. So that's my fork. I really enjoy doing, this, doing that. And I think I'm going to try this, which is a scourer from the kitchen. And let's see if we can make some interesting patterns with my scourer. Dip that in the paint again. Let's see what shapes it comes out with. Press it down. This is really good because they all make such different patterns. So this one is very interesting. There 
then we have some more patterns, shapes, and designs. So I think I'm just going to add a couple more things to this. I think I'm going to add some yellow. And I'm going to put another car into my yellow. Tires are going to be rolling about. Oh, there we go. That's really good tire marks on my piece of material. I think that looks wonderful. And what I'm going to use this for is I'm going to wrap a little present. So I've got a little stamper. Put it in the middle and I'm going to wrap it up. And I'm going to tie it with a piece of ribbon and make it, if you let it dry first, and you can tie it up and make it into a little present. They'll need help. Tying that little bow, it's like tying your shoelaces. There we go. So you can make use of all sorts of little things that you might have on your right hands. And I think that makes a super little present. Okay. And then I think finally is what they're sure to do when they're printing and using this paint is they are going to want to put their hand in the paint like this. Make sure I've got it all on like that. I'm going to paint it a little bit. I'm going to put some green as well. And my hand is now covered in paint. As you can see, Print my hand. And they love doing hand prints. And then you can see there's my hand. So I hope it's given you some ideas today and I hope you've enjoyed the session. And please go to www.familycorner.co.uk for further information. Thank you for joining me.